Hey guys, let's get more news about Warriors, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Steph Curry has a message for people counting the Warriors out next season. In the opinions of most people, the Golden State Warriors dynasty is definitely over. After winning their fourth NBA championship of the Stephen Curry era in 2022, they lost in the second round of the playoffs the following season, and this past season, they missed the playoffs altogether. To make matters worse, Clay Thompson, one of the most important pillars of their empire over the past decade, left to join the Dallas Mavericks this summer. But Curry actually likes the fact that people are counting out the Warriors, per Legion Hoops. I love the fact that people don't think we can keep the pace with some of the other teams that they're picking in the West, Curry said. Steph Curry on people counting the Warriors out after losing Klay Thompson, I love the fact that people don't think we can keep the pace with some of the other teams that they're picking in the West. Curry is still an elite player, as he proved in the Olympics this summer when he helped lead Team USA men's basketball to a gold medal, but the supporting cast around him isn't what it used to be. Forwards Andrew Wiggins and Jonathan Kaminga, big man Kevin Looney and veteran Draymond Green remain from that 2022 championship squad, but they will need a number of young players and newcomers to step up if they are to return to the playoffs. Kaminga took a step forward last season, and Golden State has relatively high hopes for guard Brandon Podziemski, who developed into a diamond in the rough last season. In an attempt to replace Thompson's dead-eye shooting, the Warriors brought in Buddy Heald, who is a career 40% three-point shooter but isn't the overall scoring threat Thompson is. They were hoping to swing a big trade this summer in order to become contenders again, but it hasn't happened, at least not yet. Ex-Warrior JTA, fueled by fatherhood, continues basketball journey. Juan Toscano Anderson, sitting on the sidelines at Kaiser Permanente Arena, looks down at the inside of his left forearm gleaming with pride. The Oakland native and Warriors champion isn't new to the court that kick-started his road to Golden State. What is new is his latest ink in honor of his son that's beginning to heal. That's at the top of my list, being a dad, Toscano Anderson told NBC Sports Bay Area. It's the best thing I could have ever done. I'm glad that my son chose me to be his dad. He's the best, he's my baby goat. I just got his name tattooed, Jad is the greatest with a baby goat, because he's the best thing to ever happen to me. The 31-year-old is back at the home of the Santa Cruz Warriors as a member of the G League United for the G League Fall Invitational, where an eclectic group of prospects and veterans alike will play BC Mega Miz of Serbia on Wednesday and Friday the same club that the late former Warriors assistant coach Dejan Milojevic coached future three-time NBA MVP Nikola Jokic and current Los Angeles Clippers center Ivica Zubac. At the conclusion of the United's final practice before their first game, Toscano Anderson skipped to center court and dapped up his teammates on his way to a huddle led by San Diego Clippers coach Paul Hewitt, where he had the team break on Dominate, together. Toscano Anderson easily is the leader of the group with the deepest pedigree. While others are looking to prove themselves for the first time, Toscano Anderson is playing for something bigger as the current free agent also believes he still has plenty left to give on the court. Once the opportunity was presented to him, Toscano Anderson jumped at the chance of coming back to Santa Cruz. Relentless Defense Diving for loose balls, even if it means putting his body on the line and crashing into the scorer's table. Using his athleticism as a high flyer however it can help the team, and being an extra voice on the floor or the bench. All these traits have led to Toscano Anderson's improbable path to becoming a champion. And all will remain with him as long as he's playing basketball. He also is quick to point out that he did shoot over 40% from three-point range in his first full NBA season with the Warriors in 2020-21, but understands shooting always has been a knock on his game. Toscano Anderson says he has worked relentlessly the past few months on his outside shot, specifically training with coach Phil Beckner in Phoenix, and hopes to show consistency there to receive a training camp invite to a team. His contagious energy is sure to be seen, too. The sentimental aspect of these two games isn't missed by him either. 
these fans are home to Toscano Anderson. He earned a spot on Santa Cruz's roster from an open tryout in 2018 and played 74 games for the Santa Cruz Warriors between the 2018-19 and 2019-20 seasons prior to making his NBA debut for his hometown team at 26 years old on February 8, 2020. When I left Santa Cruz and went up to Golden State I always said, man, I miss playing in Santa Cruz, he remembers. I never knew if I'd get the opportunity to play here again. Now that I do, I just want to embrace it, enjoy it and just be in the moment. It has been more than four and a half years since Toscano Anderson played a game in Santa Cruz, and six months since his last game action, which was with the Mexico City Capitans of the G League. He signed with the Sacramento Kings nearly two months into the NBA season after playing 11 games for the Capitans, and then played 11 more games for coach Mike Brown ahead of being waived in early January. That could have been a hindrance too hard to handle for many. But that's not how the Castro Valley High School alum is built. A month and a half later, Toscano Anderson was back in Mexico City where fans flocked to watch him play and his popularity surpassed those with the highest power in the entire country. Toscano Anderson, as a member of the Warriors in 2022, became the first Mexican-American champion in NBA history. Eighteen months later, his son attended his first game on December 3, 2023, where in front of 13,561 fans at Mexico City Arena who revered Toscano Anderson, he scored 29 points against the Austin Spurs. Those 29 points are more than he has scored in any of his 202 NBA games, as well as his 93 career games in the G League and the 121 games he played at Marquette. You step into this business and you want to be a basketball player, but it comes with so much more, Toscano Anderson said. You become a role model, you become an ambassador, you become all these other things. It's cool to be a role model for kids, but it's even cooler to be a role model for my own son. Warriors could sign former Lakers playoff rival? The Golden State Warriors may be ready to forgive and forget about 2023. Kendra Andrews of ESPN reported on Wednesday that the Warriors are working out free agent wing Troy Brown Jr. this week. Brown is coming in as one of multiple veteran players that Golden State will be working out, Andrews adds. Brown, who has nice size at 6'7 and can play both shooting guard and small forward, split time last season between the Minnesota Timberwolves and Detroit Pistons. Prior to that, he notably played for the Los Angeles Lakers in the 2022-23 campaign, drawing 45 regular season starts and seeing a handful of rotation minutes when the Lakers took down the Warriors in the second round of the playoffs that year. Admittedly, Brown's numbers do not pop off the page, he averaged just 4.2 points and 2.4 rebounds in 14.0 minutes per game overall last year but he is a 35.1% career three-point shooter with defensive upside at still only 25 years old. At the moment, the Warriors have two partial non-guaranteed contract spots left to work with, meaning that they could hypothetically sign both Brown and this other interesting name they were recently linked to. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Troy Brown Jr.? Leave your opinion in the comments.